First, import a well modeled object. I imported the flowers I bought from Sketchfab into the project. Make sure you bring an object with a good UV mapping. The better UV mapping, the better quality comes out. And we need iridescent texture image. If you search for keywords such as hologram texture or iridescent texture on the stock image website, you will find it. But if there's an image of the color that you want, bring that image on Photoshop. Go filter, blur, apply Gaussian blur. After that, swirl around the image with the warp tool on liquify. And then, apply the Gaussian blur once more. From now on, please do the same for the those who got the image from the stock image website. Scribble the black color on the image with the brush tool. And put some spectrum effect on image. We're done with the image. Please save and let's go back to Blender. Change the render engine to Cycle. And change 3D viewport to rendering mode. Change object editor to word editor and shader editor. We'll set up the image that we just created to use as a light source. Go to word properties and change surface from background to environment texture. Click the open and bring the image we just made on Photoshop. Image that we brought in is the background of the world, keeping a light source effect. Add texture coordinate with node wrangler add-on. If you use rotation of mapping, the background image is rotated and the light source is also rotated. We'll only use the light source in the background and set it up to render the image invisible. Make a mix shader between the background and the output node. And duplicate the background, connect it to the shader node, and change the color value to black. And create a light path and connect Ace Camera Lay to Factor. Now the background is rendered black while the light source in background is retained. Okay now, we're going to put glass material on the rows. Let me show you how the nodes are set up. Please pause for a moment and take your time to set the nodes and values. If you do the node setting, the glass prism art that we've been seeing will be done. Now, I'll explain the structure of the shader node. I separated the sharp part and the white part with the layer weight node. Let me show you an example of how layer weight is applied. The upper section of the make shader is the white inner part, and the lower section represents the sharp edge. So, I use glass material for the edge part to express the light. And for the white flat area, I use scratch texture and transparent to express the feeling of light being well transmitted but having scratches. You can download seamless scratch texture link below. Now, I'll show you how to customize the glass material. Let's go to World Shader Editor first. Strength value of the background is light power from the background image. Just imagine strength of the sunlight. And the factor value of upper section make shader controls the opacity of the dust. Blend value of layer weight sets the extent to which the light will form. And glass VSDF IOR is the light reflection. The results change a lot depending on the degree of light reflection, so touch it a little bit. Please customize it until you get best results you want. If you add elements such as glow and sparkle in Blender's compositing, Photoshop or After Effects, you can create a better production. That's all for today's tutorial. If you want to see more tutorial, please subscribe and like. Thank you.